checkup complete, Captain. This coral reef is healthy. Good work, Peso. Let's head back to the octopod. Oh! Ah! Ah! Lionfish. Peso, back away slowly. Yes, those lionfish have spiky fins that sting. I've never seen them in this part of the ocean before. Shellington, we've just spotted two lionfish. Lionfish? They don't belong in these waters. And if they stay here, it'll be a disaster. Lionfish are great hunters. They can eat a fish in a single gulp. But there aren't any fish here to eat them. And, well, they can have lots and lots of babies in a short amount of time. Oh, I'll say. So if those two lionfish stay here, the coral reef will soon be full of lionfish and not much else. Exactly. Then we better get them back where they belong. Just one fast gulp. <laughs> hey, you just scared away our lunch. We'd like to offer you lionfish a free lift home, all meals included. I don't know. The eating's real good here. Yeah, these fish don't know to be scared of us. But don't you feel just a little bit, um, homesick? Well, we didn't mean to leave home. We got blown away by a hurricane and then got caught up in all the wrong currents. And we finally ended up here. Oh, Lily, I want to go back home now. <laughs> OK, Louie, OK. All meals included, you say? Guaranteed. Deal. You want a shake on it? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not going to sting you. Louis, cheer up. We're going home. Well, hey! We'll need to prepare the octopod for dangerous visitors. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the HQ. We're bringing a pair of lionfish aboard the octopod. Yow! Beware of their poisonous stinging spikes, mateys. Dashy, secure all fish tanks. Already on it, Captain. Sardines secure. And zebra fish secure, Captain. Very good. Tweak, we'll keep our visitors in the launch bay. Sure thing, Cap. Tunip, prepare some fish biscuits. These lionfish are hungry. What the do? Octonauts, meet Lily and Louie. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, make yourselves at home. Thanks. So, where's the food? Come on! Just one fast. Go! Oh, oh God! What else you got? Yeah. <gasps> Ate them in a single gulp. Looks like you better make some more, matey, and fast. <laughs> Lily, Louie, right now we're here. And we need to get you back to the Pacific Ocean, over here. It's going to be a long trip, but I promise we'll get you home. Then what are we waiting for? Octonauts, let's do this. Oh, 
something. What's going on down there? Whoa! Cap, the octo hatch somehow opened just as the ship was tilting. We're flooding fast. <gasps> and the lionfish are on the loose. Dreek, close the octo hatch. I can't flip the octopod until you do. You got it, Cap. Everyone, find those lionfish. Before they eat the other fishies. I'll make sure we don't crash into anything. Ah, or anyone. I smell fresh fish. This way, Louie. I'm coming, Lily. Lionfish heading for sick bay. Then we don't have much time. Helmets on, mateys. We've got to swim up to the second floor. Dashy, open the octo chute. I'm on it. Let's go fishing! Jellyfish ahead, Captain. Uh, uh, I see them. Dweek, we're sinking too fast. Any luck for that uh, octo hatch? I'm working on it, Cap. So, you look for the sardines. Shellington, the zebra fish. I'll take the lion fish. No sudden moves now. Hey, oh, hey, oh, come hey. here. The zebra fish. Dumping jellyfish. Just one fast. Go. In you go. Hey, hey, hey. So, Quasi's been stung. Meet me in the sick bay immediately. Hot water should make the sting feel better, Quasi. <sighs> Aye, it already does. But we're all in hot water if we don't fight those pesky, poisonous lionfish. At least the zebra fish are safe. The sardines! We have to get to it before the lionfish do. <laughs> There they are. You handle the sardines, Peso. I'll take care of the lionfish. Just one fast go. Yeah. Oh. The sardines are safe. Just one fast go. Robot the fossil. A pot of whales straight ahead. Let's get out of here! Sorry, Tuna. After them! Come on, Louie. Let's swim out of here once and for all. Hey, another good idea, Lily. Captain, the lionfish are heading for the launch bay. Ah, understood. Tweak, the lionfish are heading your way. Is the octo hatch closed? I'll have it closed faster than you can see. Crunchy, crunchy, the crunch cat. It's closed, Cap. Good work, Tweak. Let's split up and look for them. We never did get our snack. Hey, how about him? Hmm. Captain, we're clear of the whales. And not a moment too soon. Everyone, get ready to flip. <laughs> Safe and sound. More or less. Ah, home sweet home. Hey, thanks for the lift. Sorry we tried to eat your crew. So, how about a group hug before we go? Ah, um, maybe another time. When you're not poisonous. Oh, yeah, poisonous. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <sighs> These night missions are tough, Captain. We've been working so late, it's just about morning. 
At least all's well in the ocean. <sighs> It'll be great to get back to the octopod and get some sleep. I. What's wrong? Hmm? Nothing. If nothing's wrong, why do you keep growling like that? Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not me. It's my belly. I guess I'm hungry. Hmm. Come to think of it, my belly's feeling a bit empty too. How about you, Peso? Are you hungry? <coughs> There's a monkey. Where? <laughs> no monkey, Peso. We're all just tired and hungry. I see a nice seagrass meadow coming up. What do you say we stop there and have some breakfast? Aye. Yes, please. I'm so glad Tunip packed all this food for us. Me too. I'm starving now. Oh, kelp cakes, me favourite. Yeah, licorice flavoured, me least favourite. I can never get these thingies to work. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Strawberry jam flavoured kelp. Now that's more like it. I'll be having some of that too, please, Peso. <gasps> Look over there. Seahorses. What in the seven seas? Look at those two. They're dancing like some crazy underwater merry-go-round. I've never seen anything like it. Let's investigate. <coughs> um, excuse me, seahorses. We couldn't help but notice your amazing dance. Oh, thanks, man. It's a seahorse thing. We do a special dance of love. And change colors to show how much we like each other. Yeah, I'm Sonny, and this is Janice. We are the Octonauts. I'm Captain Barnacles, and this is Quasi and Peso. Good to meet you, Sonny and Janice. Isn't she wonderful? One look and I knew she was the one for me. Oh, Sonny, you're so sweet. They certainly look happy together. Captain, they, um, seem kind of busy with their dance and everything. Hmm. Let's, uh, head back to the octopod. Bye, Janice and Sonny. So long, man. Be happy. How much further, Captain? Not too far. The water is getting a bit rough, though. Octopod to Gap A, come in, please. We read you, Dashy. Is everything okay? There's a big storm heading this way, Captain. Suggest you return to the octopod as soon as possible. Thanks, Dashy. We're on our way back right now. Barnacle's out. A vast. Look at the fishies, mates. They're all heading for cover. Whenever a storm approaches, fish know to head for deeper water. It's much safer down below. We'll do the same. Sweet octopod. This storm could last a while. It's a big one, Captain. Mm. Huh? Uh, oh. Look, it's Janice. She's in trouble. Hey, so sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our seahorse friend Janice is lost in the storm. We're going out to save her. Guppy's all powered up and ready to go, Cap. Peso, Quasi, into the guppe. Yow! Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Cap. Hold on, Octonauts. This could get bumpy. <laughs> Flippers, you're enjoying this, aren't you, Quasi? Aye! there will be nothing like an ocean storm to make a pirate feel alive! <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for Janice. Don't see her anywhere. There she be! Holding on by her tail! <laughs> Get 
get as close to her as I can. And then Quasi, you... Quasi? You! I'm coming, me hearty! Gotcha! I'll get the water tank ready for Janice, Captain. Good thinking, Peso. Thanks for saving me. How'd you get dragged out into this storm, matey? The water just swept me away. Seahorses aren't very good swimmers. We pretty much go where the water takes us. You can come back to the octopod and rest until the storm is over. But we need to find Sonny. The water pulled him away too, and I'm really worried. He's about to have our babies. In that case, we'd best find him before he... What did you say? Sonny is about to give birth to our babies. I only hope he's okay. But daddies don't have babies. Mums do. I mean, I mean, don't they? Not when you're a seahorse. Daddy seahorses carry babies in a special pouch until they're ready to be born. Well, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. Janice, on my honour as an octonaut, we'll find Sonny and make sure he's safe and sound. Barnacles to Shellington and Dashy. Here, Captain. Go ahead, Captain. We need to find out which way the storm is headed and fast, because a seahorse has been swept along with it. Ah, uh, sir. Leave it to us. Got it! Captain, the storm is moving over the reef and then past some big rock formations. We'll send you a map of it right now. Good work, Octonauts. We'll search the reef first. Do you see him? Ah, not yet. We'll check the rocks next. Don't worry, we won't give up. We still need to search that kelp forest up ahead. We don't want to get the guppe stuck in this kelp, so we'll get out and search for Sonny. Sonny! Are you here, matey? Sonny! Sonny! Hmm, at least the storm is finally calming down. But where's Sonny? I guess we'll never find him. Look! A seahorse! Excuse me, are you Janice? Who, me? No, I'm Quasi, and, and I'm not a seahorse, I'm a... I'm Janice. Janice! Thank goodness you found us. Sunny is about to give birth. You're just in time. Oh, where is he? Please take us to him now. I'm a medic. I can help. Over there, near that seaweed. Sunny. Congratulations, Janice. It's a boy. And a girl. Oh, my. And another girl. And a boy. And a boy. And another girl. And a boy. And another girl. Hey, Janice. Sunny, I'm so glad I found you. Janice, you're safe. Meet the children. Our children are so beautiful. How can we ever, ever thank you? Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> All in the line of duty. Ah, yeah. oh, they're so adorable. <laughs> what are their names again? Well, that little guy is Barney, short for Barnacles. And that really handsome dipper is Quasi. And that one's Peso. And that there's his sister, Quasetta. Oh, she's a firecracker. What's our position, Dashie? Just approaching the eastern coast of Australia, Captain. Australia? I've heard a tale or two about the strange beasties that live there, me hearties. Mm. Actually, Quasi's right. 
Many of the creatures in Australia are found nowhere else in the world. Hold on, everyone. Is everyone okay? I'm fine. Oh, okay, Captain. Yes, I think so. Aye, aye, Captain. Just practicing my tumbles. Dashie, what just happened? Well, we were passing this river, Captain. There's been a lot of rain in this area, and all the extra water caused the river to flood. It's gushing out here into the ocean much faster than usual. And it's sweeping the river creatures out with it. Looks like they need our help. Wazi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, the river here has flooded. We've got to head upstream and help any creatures who may be in trouble. Quasi, Peso, Shellington, into the cafe. First, we have to rescue the river creatures that have been swept out to sea. Quasi, activate fish vac. <laughs> now let's take them back home. This river's flowing fast. Looks like the flooding caused a lot of damage. There must be more creatures out there who need our help. Octonauts, let's do this. Well done, Octonauts. Everything looks back to normal. Let's head home before it gets too dark. I'll be right there, Captain. It looks like part of the riverbank has collapsed. I just want to make sure no creatures were hurt. All right, Shellington. Captain, Quasi's found something. Feast your eyes on this. Hmm, an egg. It was just sitting there, all alone on the riverbed, Captain. We'd better get it back to where it belongs. But where's that? Ah, the shell is hard and thick. This egg was laid on land. We should show it to, um... Ah! Shellington! Shellington, where are you? Over here, Captain! Ow! Oh, it stung my leg. What? What stung your leg? One of them! There they are. Don't let them get away. <laughs> We're under attack. Quick, everyone back to the car. Oh! Yeah. out there, Shellington. Two creatures came out of nowhere, and one of them stung me in the leg. Oh, what were those things? They had bills and claws and... <gasps> Hold on. I'll be a sea monkey's uncle. It's a pair of duck-faced river monsters. A pair of duck-faced what? Now, Quasi... It is a strange, slippery beast that's said to lurk in Australian rivers just like this one. It's made up of parts from different creatures. A bill like a duck, fur like a bear, webbed paws like an otter, claws like a cat, a tail like a beaver, and worst of all, a sharp, spiny stinger like a giant bumblebee. This here sting is the work of the duck-faced river monster. So. Whatever it was that stung you, it was serious. How are you feeling, Shellington? Uh, not too good, Captain. Don't worry, Shellington. I'm sure I can make you better. I just need my medical bag. Captain, I must have dropped it. It's out there. With the duck-faced river monsters. Peso, you stay in the gap and look after Shellington as best you can. Quasi, you and I are going out there to find Peso's medical bag. Oh, I almost forgot. We'll find out who this egg belongs to and return it just as soon as we take care of Shellington. Good luck out there. Hurry. Oh. Oh. No sign of the creatures yet. 
No sign of Peso's medical bag either. It could be anywhere in this murky muck. Oh, looks like we've got company. Quasi, you keep them distracted while I search the riverbed. Ready? Ready, Captain. Then let's do this. Hey, you duck-faced furball! Over here! I'm not scared of you, whatever you are. Ah, you sure? It's around here somewhere. I did it, Captain. Oh, oh! I led those monsters on a wild goose chase. They'll never find us now. Hmm. This time, Quasi, you look for the bag, and I'll lead the creatures away. Aye, aye, Captain. Hey! Up here! That's it! <laughs> here I am! What's taking the Captain and Quasi so long? Don't worry, Shellington. They'll be back soon. I hope. Ah! Lappity flippers! The egg's hatching! Wow! <laughs> Shiver me, whiskers! Peso's bag! Look out, Quasi! Quasi, this way! Shellington, look! Oh, fascinating. A bill. A furry tail. A webbed claw. It's a duck-faced river monster. And it's really cute. Oh, jumping jellyfish. That's no monster. It's a baby platypus. A platypus? Uh, platypuses are river creatures that lay eggs. They only live here in Australia. Then those creatures outside must be platypuses too. That's right. And platypus fathers have stingers on their back legs. No wonder he stung me. They want their baby back. I'd better get it back to them before anyone else gets hurt. Careful on that leg, Shellington. I'll be right back. Ah, how do they keep finding us in the dark? We're trapped. Huh? <laughs> We've got you right where we want. Now hand it over. Um, excuse me, hand what over? Not gonna cooperate, huh? All right then, get ready to feel the sting. Stop! Look. <laughs> Our baby! Who's got your bill? <laughs> and your tail. A baby duck-faced monster? It's not a duck-faced monster. It's a duck-billed platypus. It hatched from that egg you found. Our egg must have rolled into the river during the flood. We were looking everywhere for it. We're very sorry, platypuses. We didn't know the egg was yours. We were going to try and find out where it came from, but then our friend Shellington, well... All oh, right, yeah. Sorry for the sting. I, I was just protecting my family, and I got a little bit, uh, stingy. I completely understand, but I've got to find my medical bag so I can help Shellington. Aye, it's somewhere down in the muck. Perhaps I can make up for what I did to your mate and find that for you. I'll be right back. But how will he be able to find my bag in the dark? We platypuses don't mind the dark, because we swim with our eyes closed anyway. We find our way around underwater using our special bill. It tells us where things are. Aha! My medical bag! Thank you so much! Oh, thanks, Peso. It's feeling better already. Don't worry, the pain from my stinger should wear off soon. Sorry again, mate. And thanks for keeping our little ones safe. Oh, not to worry. It's not every day I get to meet a family of furry, wet-footed, stinging, egg-laying, beaver-tailed, duck-billed platypi. Oh, ah, you're standing on my foot. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What's our mission today, Captain? I'm ready for any... Shiver me whiskers! What's that big green thing? Some sort of humongous blob monster heading towards us? 
I'm tracking a large mass of plankton to see how wind and waves affect its path. A mass of what? Plankton. That large patch of plankton is actually made up of teeny tiny little things. Uh, oh yeah. You see, there are little animals and little green plants in the plankton. <laughs> but what's our mission, Captain? Well, the plankton is our mission for the next few weeks. You mean we're just going to sit here and watch little bits of green gunk? We can learn big things from little things, Quasi. Aye, like how to go stir-crazy with your tail stuck in one place. Um, Quasi, I think Tweak could use some help with the Gup X. The Gup X? Well, now you're talking! I don't know, Quasi. Seems to me you're better at wrecking Gups and helping fix him. Oh, come on, matey. What have you got to lose? A Gup. Please? <sighs> All right, follow me. What do you need me to do? Drive the tank up the side of an undersea volcano? See how fast the glider can fly upside down? Nope. You want me to just sit on the octo ski? You can try to get it going after I clean all the plankton out of the engine. Don't worry, I'll get her started. Wait, Quasi! First I gotta... I've got it started, but how do I get it to stop? It's stuck! <laughs> Quasi to tweak. Come in. A high octopod. Anybody? Ah, <sighs> no problem. Me pirate senses tell me the octopod's just a little bit back that way. Okay, a lot of it back. Left, right, sky! Left, right, sky! Oh, we right, see sky. monkeys, Uncle! Left, it's right, a sky. bug walking Left, on water! Right, sky. Not just any bug, my friend. I'm a sea skater. Call me Strider, the only insect who can live on the ocean all the time. Amazing! But true! I've got these little waterproof hairs on my legs that let me walk on the waves, yeah? That's a fancy trick for someone so little. Hey, I may be little, but I do big things. Ah, oh, quit showing off. You're not the only one who can walk on water. Oh, yeah, this is my wife, Sally. Hiya. Sally's a she-skater. All the she-skaters are bigger than the he-skaters. Hey, but, but, but I'm faster. If you're so fast, how come you haven't found any food? No. We've been looking for days, but there isn't any, and the babies are hungry. <laughs> yeah, we need food! <laughs> what do you sea skaters eat? Ah, we like to eat this floaty green stuff. Hey, that sounds like the plankton my friends the octonauts are looking at. It's a big green all-you-can-eat floating feast, and it's right over that way. I don't know. I usually find the food. What do we got to lose? Ready, kids? Yeah, yeah. we're ready. Come, <laughs> come. Cool, cool. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. Okay, here we go. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, and hurry. Right, skate. Don't like Left, the look right, of this wind. Skate. Any sign of Quasi? Not yet. I can't get him on the radio or the gup finder. Don't worry, Tweak. We'll find him. This isn't the first time Quasi's been lost at sea. Captain, the wind is picking up and causing some really big waves. Cap, we gotta go out and find it before... It's getting rough out there. That big patch of plankton just hit us. The radar's out, and I can't open the octo hatch. Nothing's working right. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi is lost at sea, and every door on the octopod is jammed with plankton. Oh, no. Quasi's out there, while we're stuck in here. <sighs> hmm. Any luck opening the octo hatch, Tweak? Uh, no. We gotta... Unjam the octa hatch before one of those waves hits Quasi. We'll find a way. We've got 
got to make it to the octopod before these waves get any bigger. Hey, you're talking to a speed skater, man. <laughs> Can't you swim any faster? Come on, I'll race you. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. Left, right, skate. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> I, I had leg cramp. Sorry about that, me hearty. I didn't see you there, because you're so... Don't say little. Uh, no. I mean, yes, uh... Coming through! Left, right, skate! Left, right, skate! <sighs> That's as far as I can get it. I can't get through. If Basil can't make it, who can? Ski, but I'm tracking a really big wave, and it's heading straight for Quasi. Let's go. Tweak, activate glider. You got it, Cap. Oh! Hang on, kids. Okay, Sally. Time to bubble up. Time to what? Bubble up. Remember those little hairs I told you about? When the water gets really rough, it helps us do this. So we can breathe, even if we go underwater. Amazing! Haha, <laughs> but true! What about the babies? Well, I don't have a bubble, but you're welcome to take shelter in my octo ski. All aboard! It's okay, hon. I've got it. <laughs> my babies! Mummy! I'll save them! <laughs> Don't be scared, kids! I've got you! Here you go! Strider! He's gone! Stay with your babies! I'll get him! We should see Quasi any minute, Cap! Ah, there's nobody here. Hey, who are you calling nobody? Uh, oh, hello. Um, who are you? Oh, never mind that. These waves are getting too big. My husband and your furry friend are in danger. Strider! <laughs> need a lift? <laughs> no worries. <laughs> what makes you think I need a... <laughs> Are you all right, matey? <laughs> yeah, I know what you're thinking. Poor little bug. Too small to save himself. That's not what I was thinking. Everybody needs saving sometimes, just like you saved the baby skaters. That's big! Right. You may be little, but you do big things. No, no, no. I mean that! Shiver me whiskers! Oh, we're gonna need a bigger bubble! <laughs> Hang on! <laughs> right on time, Captain! Tweak, open the windscreen! <laughs> Did you miss me? <laughs> I'll quit showing off. <sighs> it's good to see you, Quaz. You too, Tweak. Carrot? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> mm. Fascinating. I've never seen something so little eat so much plankton. Uh, 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 uh. They may be little, but... We do big things. Oh! 
<laughs> Sorry, Quasi. I'm on my way down to see who's at the door. Who could be knocking at this hour? I'll let you know after I answer it. Why don't I answer it? Mm, thanks, but I've got it. Last one to the door's a rotten fish head, Captain. You're on. Me. Hmm. Huh? Dudes, I'm down here. Huh? Oh, hello. What seems to be the trouble? Okay, look, there's some kind of creature back at the reef that's half crab, half sea urchin, and totally loud. None of us sea snails can get any sleep. We're, like, totally stressing. We need someone big to come to the reef and ask them to quiet and down. I'm, I'm on, on it. it. I'm happy to take care of this, Quasi. You go back to sleep. That's kind of you, Captain, but you go back to sleep. No, you go back to sleep. Sleep? Pirates are made for nighttime adventures. Look, I'm sure you could handle it, but I'm not sure you should handle it. Aye, but if I could handle it, then I would handle it, which means I should handle it, All because... All right, we'll both go. Fine. We don't need to wake everybody up. Quasi, sound the octo alert, but just in the launch bay. Tweak to the launch bay. <laughs> Tweak, this little snail needs our help. We need to head out to the reef. <sighs> aye, aye, Cap. I'll drive. So will I. We'll see you at the reef. And I'll get there first. <laughs> oh, no, you won't. Tweak, open the octo hatch. <laughs> Instead of just going fast, I picked the straightest route. Now, show us the way. Over there by the rocks, eh? I, I don't see a point. The point is that I'm always the one protecting you. Well, I'm always the one who finds all the food while well, you just sit there. I don't just sit here. I do stuff. I protect you. I get... I, I... Wow! This snail was right! It is half crab and half sea urchin. Mm. Let's call Shellington and find out if he's ever seen anything like this before. <laughs> Uh, hello? Sorry to wake you, Shellington, but we need your help. Take a look at this. What is this strange creature? Uh, oh, well, Captain, it's two separate creatures. It's a crab with a sea urchin stuck to its shell. But why are they stuck together like that? Uh, uh, because of symbiosis. Symbi- what? Symbiosis. When two creatures live very close together because they need each other for different reasons. The urchin needs the crab for food, and the crab <sighs> needs the urchin for protection. Right. Thanks, Shellington. I put food on the table. What do you do? I eat it. I'll just Where ask the crab now? and the urchin to be quiet. What? Easy. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, Mr. Crab, Mr. Urchin. We're lost, we're lost. We're not lost. I know exactly where we are. Ahem. You said go left. I said go right. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. 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 Didn't. Mr. Crab, Mr. Urchin, there's a problem. He's, He's the, the problem. problem. You're the problem. I'm not the problem. Yes, you are. You're the problem. Now, do you see what I mean? You it's a problem. You can't even spell problem. You don't appreciate the fact that I carry you around and feed you all day. And you don't appreciate the fact that I keep you safe. Oi, keep it down where we are. Ah! Ah, run away. 
Now where was I? Oh yeah, I protect you from troublemakers like that. I'm sorry, I, I don't see your point. I got a lot of points, I'm an urchin. Hold on, please. You two are so loud that the sea snails can't get any sleep. Eh, sorry. sorry. You see, you're too loud. No, you're too loud. I am not too loud. Yes, you are. It's oh, too Captain, too loud. You're too maybe loud. these two would be better apart. They are two separate creatures, but they need each other for food and protection. Symbiosis, remember? Aye, but maybe they really just need a break from each other. A, a break, break from, from each, each other. other? Why didn't I think of that? Ha! I'd be fine without you. Um, no, I'll be fine without you. Uh, uh, oh, I'm free! <laughs> no, I'm free. Ha! Yeah, hear that? Quiet. It's sleepy time for snails. Thank you for your help, Octonaut. <sighs> Enjoy your sleep, little sea snail. Are you both all right on your own? Uh, well, uh, I could use a lift to the other side of the reef. You know, a fresh start and all that. Captain, I'll give him a lift. <laughs> Good luck. I don't need a thing. I I'm just fine on my own. Oi, you, get off my rock. Oh, yeah? Talk to my pointy friend about that, buddy. Uh oh. Ah! Ah, that's more like it. Are you sure you're okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm, uh. Well, no. When I had that spiky urchin on my shell, I, I look scary. Nobody mess with me. I suppose I don't look scary anymore. I'll help you learn how to stand up for yourself. Really? This looks like a nice rock for you, me hearty. There, too crowded. There wouldn't be enough food for me. Okay, uh, what about that one? You kidding me? Too small. There won't be enough food for me there either. Let's keep moving. Yes, let's keep moving. You just need to make yourself look big and strong. Rah! Now you try it. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, nearly. You know, when I travel with the crab, he always shared his food. And what about you? You got any snacks for me? Uh, no. Unbelievable! No snacks! Well, what are you gonna do about that? You said you're gonna help me, so what's your plan, buddy? Uh, I don't have a plan. But I do know someone who's always good at coming up with one. Let's go and find Captain Barnacles. <laughs> now, raise your claws and say, Grr! Grr? Oh, I'm no good at this. It's all about attitude and confidence. And my friend Quasi could show you a thing or two about that. He doesn't let anything get in his way. Come on, let's go and find him. You're back. You're back. On my back. Uh, I missed you, buddy. I really did. So, you're happy to be back together? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize until now how much I need you. And I didn't realize how much I need you. Thanks, Thanks for your help, Octonauts. See ya! Ah! 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 Run away! Hi. Those two are better off together than apart, Captain. That's symbiosis. Yow! Race you back to the octopod? Hey, you're on. I'm Captain Barnacles. Aye, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs>